Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Well, welcoming you to episode 33 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. No, ep episode 34, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I'm getting kind of lost on that, so don't be surprised if one of these past few episodes has gotten me confused, gotten me confuzzled on that. So anyways, in the last episode, we beat the octopus, and oh my god, it's jelly. It's it's strawberry jelly. And it's, it's, it's thriving. Well, not thriving, but whatever. Well, maybe it is thriving, I don't know. Because there's two of them in here. Are they are they asexually reproducing? I don't know. Whatever, I don't even know what the hell they are, so what am I talking about? Anyways, you come in here, and this is a strange room. It's just like one little thing in a platform. You step on the platform, and it's an elevator inside of a fish. Oh, there's so much random crap inside this fish. It's like a machine. It's a, it's a mechanized fish that the Zoras built to be their guardian deity. That doesn't work, Zoras. You can't build your own guardian deity. Anyway, so you want to take one of these crates and you want to put it on the switch so that it gets held down. Basically, all the blue switches, um, you need to put something on them to hold them down. Otherwise, they'll just go up once you step off them. And this is actually the last room before the boss, as you can see on the map down there. And oh my god, there's so many jellyfish in here. Let's just kill all of them. I think I, that one just barely got him. Like, got him by a hair's breadth. By a hair's breadth. By a hair's breast. Whatever. Ooh, hearts. Nice. Yummy. Yummy, I like some hearts. I like having me some human hearts. Yummy, it tastes like blood. Bloody blood, blood, blood. Oh, shit. Whatever. Anyways, uh, he dropped bullets. That's nice. Because we're gonna need them to take out this sculpture here. Yay, and this will be the last one in this dungeon. And let me show you once ha what happens once you've cleared an area out of sculptures. You can actually check to make sure that you've done so. And, like, see, this is the map here. And right up next to the words inside Jabba Jabba's Zelly, there's a gold sculptural symbol there. And that's how... No, I don't want to save. That's how you know that you've gotten all the tokens that you can possibly get in that area. We, I think this is the first area that we've actually done that in, but we're going to do a lot of them pretty soon here with the boomerang. So that's good. Anyway, so there's that thing, that switch that you have to hit there. So what you want to do is use the boomerang to get around this wall that's going to face that you can't really see. And that opens up the boss door. Oh my god. What are we, like two minutes into, two and a half minutes into this episode? And, like, we started right after the mini boss, and now we're at the boss? Holy shit. Okay. So, let's get on with it. What will this big, scary, ultimate boss be? Well, t let me tell you, like I said, it's a lot harder than the other bosses that we faced before, and... What the fuck? It's like a giant electric jellyfish. Oh my god, what the hell is this? There's a bunch of them. Is it? Is this a boss? Just a bunch of jellyfish? Then how could it possibly be, right? Oh, what? Oh my god, is they're like, they're like battle armor. What? What? Bio what? Oh my god, this thing is so freaking annoying. And that's exactly why, right there, it shoots electricity at you. Well, basically what you have to do is target it and hit all four, or maybe it's just three. No, it's four. Never mind. Or is it? No, it's just three. Hit all four of its tentacles. It's testicles. And then it'll turn it like this, and you hit it with the boomerang, and that's the easy stage right there. Then he starts doing this shit. You can try to throw the boomerang at him, but... Well, I got lucky there, but... Oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot you're supposed to kill these. Kill it! Kill it! What the hell was that? I got lucky there, and then I flubbed it up. See, you can't... You can, you can hardly ever hit through that, so... You might as well still try, because as you see, as you've seen, you can hit through it. It's just hard. See right there. Now you want to kill the jellyfish instead of going at him like a stupid person, and try not get electrocuted by him either. Ouch! Stop screaming! Like, oh my god! It's not. It can't be that bad. Just suck it up, little man. And as you can see, we opened a gap in his armor here. Oh my god! And shut up, you too, Navi. Thank you. Now kill this guy, and stay away from his electricity, oh my god. Okay, stop that. Wow, the one that's left it was blocked. Just, just stop it. Uh, let me just kill your last guy. Thank you. And now he gets up on his own. And yeah, see, there's not really a strategy to this boss, because he keeps changing his technique or whatever, whatever he does. So it's kind of hard to get him. There's not really too much strategy, you just have to go, kind of go with the flow. 
See, see, like, right here, you can't do anything about what he's doing right now. If you hit him with the boomerang, then I don't think it really does anything. Now, see, he just blocks it. Now it comes up again, and oh my god, now he's moving and shooting electricity at you? Oh, no. Oh, nope, he's not dead yet. See, this boss does take a lot of hits. It's it's And it's a very strategical boss. Like, does a bunch of different shit. Let's hit it, hit it, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I missed. Come on, let's kill it, let's kill it. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, oh my god, he's he's getting tumorous. Oh my god, what the hell? Ew. 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 Oh my god. Ugh. Was that what was making this fish so sick and disturbing? It must have been. I mean, it wasn't a bioelectric enemy, right? Oh, don't forget to pick up the heart container. And now we have another row of hearts. Look at that. That's so cute. I love it. Yay. Uh, wait a second. Is that Rudo over there? Hmm. You. You're late. What took you so long? You're useless. Late? Late? For a very important date? Oh, no. And she says she was just lonely little. Why is her facial expression staying exactly the same? That's creepy. Well, guys, that's the third spiritual stone for us. Well, not quite yet, obviously, but that's the third dungeon anyways. What? Oh my god, why are you so close to my face? Get away, you stupid bitch. Oh my god. Did you just push me into the water, or did I just fall into the water? Look, Link's pissed off now. He's all pissed at you, Ruto. Oh my god. Stop it. Are you trying to seduce me? Get away. I don't want it. I don't want to have sex with fish people. You, you look cool. Cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little. Just a little itsy bitty little bit. Well, anyways, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want. I want that spiritual stone, bitch. You mean the spiritual stone of water? The Zora Sapphire, don't you? Yeah, that one. Not the spiritual stone of fire or Goron's Ruby. My mother gave it to me and said that I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright. Oh, does that mean I have to marry you now? Oh man. Well, I guess it's kind of worth it. Uh, as long as I never see her again. Yeah, I'll make this promise and never see her again. I'll just go save the world. Yay. And now we have the third spiritual stone. Please say hello to... Zora's Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about. Stop telling me what I do and don't know in these stupid little spiritual stone blurbs. Go back to Sea Princess Zelda. Well, not quite yet. There's a few more episodes of shit that we have to do before we do anything like that. Don't tell my father. Yeah, I won't tell your father. Don't worry. And it looks like that. Just like that, we are out in Zora's Fountain. And, uh, I guess the one thing I can do before this episode ends, because it looks like it's about to, is change it to nighttime here, because there's one more sculpture that can be had inside of this, um, Zora's fountain. And now, we, to get this scul- said scul- to get said sculpture, you're wanna, gonna wanna climb up here, and you will see- yeah, yeah, it's there. What a, I thought I didn't see. I thought it wasn't there for a second, but whatever. There's your sculpture, and that'll get us plenty of token. Or that'll get us another token, not plenty of tokens. I know there's one sculpture that you can get plenty of tokens off of, but that's a glitch, and I'm not going to abuse it because I just want to do it legitimately here. Anyways, so I guess that's that for this episode. Um, we can we've finally completed all three dungeons. See, it didn't take too long, really. And I guess in the next episode, we're going to do some sculptural hunting. Yay! Uh, that's that, I guess. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Uh, hope I hope that you weren't too bored by these past few episodes. I know I kind of was with my commentary, but maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. It never, it, it usually isn't, but who knows. So anyways, like I said, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.